Hey guys, it's my screen side and I have a new speed build for you today. This house is a great big uh, traditional family house and um, in my last build video I said I was going to be um, doing uploading my like sort of party house build but I guess I lied. <laughs> I decided to put this one out first for two reasons. Um, one, the last build was focused more toward like maybe young adult roommates rather than uh, family and also I built this one first so I decided um, to do the family house first uh, so yeah <laughs> so I see this one um, I haven't given it a name yet so I would I would tell you that but I can't yet because I haven't decided what it is uh, but it's a very large family house it looks smaller than it actually is I think um, because this winds up having five bedrooms and three bathrooms and I kind of see it as being maybe like a great house for like a legacy family that you're maybe like five generations in or so like where you your sims family maybe has probably more money than they know what to do with at least that's my experience with legacies after I get uh, you know so many generations in it doesn't get to be as much of a challenge to pay the bills because you know your sims have invested or you know accumulated a lot of wealth over the generations so um, and yeah this this house is very expensive um, mostly because I went really kind of maybe even a little bit overboard with the landscaping um, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the landscaping adds a lot to it, and it winds up looking really pretty, but I landscape basically every inch of the lot, uh, almost. Um, but, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it really, it comes out looking, like, really pretty, and um, with all the flowers and everything, and um, I spent quite a bit of time on the landscaping trying to make it just look really really nice uh, and yeah, I think I accomplished that although I don't show much of the landscaping I really really had to trim this video down um, it's still longer than I would like it to be but I didn't really feel like I could take anything more out and I actually built this as you can see I'm like it's for it goes to blue to peach uh, and then back to blue sort of because I built this actually over um, quite a while. I, I started it one night and kind of lost interest in it or didn't feel like it was shaping up the right way or I don't know, but, um, and then it was like a couple weeks later I saw it on, you know, when I was looking at the map and I was like, let me go back and check that out and see. And, and suddenly it looked better to me than it did that, that particular night where I'd given up on it. And it was so far completed that I, I thought, you know, let me go ahead and, and work on this again. Usually if I stop building something, I never go back to it. Uh, but this time I was like, hey, why did I, why did I stop building this? This looks, this looks all right. Let's get back into it. And wound up spending just, just ages just working on it and detailing it. Um, I'm kind of sort of that way. Either I'll start building and nothing will come out and I won't be happy with anything that I, I start building or I will start building and get in this zone where like time stops existing and I'll just keep building and building and building. And this was one of those nights like, and, you know, next thing I turn around and it's like four o'clock in the morning or something ridiculous like that. And yeah, this was one of those builds. I spent a really long time on it. But um, like I said, it's five bedrooms, three baths, and then there are also some additional rooms in the house that make it, um, you know, in my opinion, a really great family house because um, it has a room in it, which we'll get to later. I'll talk about that 
when we actually get to it, but it's something that I've been wanting to add into a house for a while, thinking it would be really useful to have and just hadn't worked it in. So not saying like it's, it's a brand new room. Nobody's ever done a room like this before. Just saying I've never done um, a room like this. So anyway, <laughs> not relevant to what's happening right now. I'm still just shaping the house and, and trying to figure it out. Um, Almost every time I start to build, I will go to like Google Images or something and like search like beautiful houses or mansions or uh, modern houses or Victorian houses or, you know, just to get some inspiration. And a lot of times I'll look at the house and it'll be like, there'll just be like something about it that I'm like, well, I can't do that in The Sims. I can't recreate that in The Sims. Um, but I had been looking at Victorian houses and there was this interesting sort of detail, which I've already built, um, but you can see it on sort of like the left-hand side of the house where um, the front part of the house, like the actual walls are sort of rounded off, not like fully round, but not squared, but the, there are sort of like square fences with, uh, spandrels and columns. And so I thought that made like a really pretty detail, uh, for the exterior of the house. And there's lots of, you know, flower boxes and, uh, details stuck on it. So I don't know if I mentioned that the price was, I, I said it was expensive, but it's 300,000 simoleons. I think I said it already. I don't know. That's how quickly I lose track of what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so a lot of it has to do with the detailing of the house itself. And then, yeah, a lot of it is the landscaping. And I cut out the majority of the landscaping, but I did leave in like this section so you can get some idea of what it will ultimately look like. And you'll see later in the video, um, the like at the end, you'll I think I end at the backyard and the majority of the landscaping is done, not totally done at that point, but you can see it later in the video. And of course I'll have screenshots at the end so you can see everything. Um, but yeah, so we're moving into the interior now and, um, this is the first floor clearly that I'm working on. So on the side where you see those sort of floor to ceiling windows from the romantic garden stuff pack is, a section of the house that I kind of see as being like an enclosed porch, like maybe at some point uh, during the life of the house, um, there was, that was a side porch or something, but it got enclosed. So it's kind of like a little bit of an indoor uh, greenhouse. And that's not the room I was talking about earlier, by the way. Uh, I just wanted to explain why there was that one section that has the really tall windows. Cause I imagine it, being a like a former porch area or something like sort of like an indoor outdoor type of area so we're getting ready to move into the living room area in just a moment um I still haven't at this point totally finalized the layout because I keep the like a separate kitchen living room and dining room area so the dining room is like has its own designated space and I you know I didn't keep it open floor plan because this is definitely more of like a Victorian influenced or just more traditional it's kind of like a a bit more contemporary than like I, I don't think I could just peg it as completely Victorian because it's a bit more contemporary than that um but it's definitely like I mean, especially on the exterior influenced, um, by more so by Victorian style houses than, um, you know, just really anything really modern. And I don't know, I just tend to see family houses in a more traditional way. I grew up in a house that was, um, you know, had this traditional closed floor plan. Um, so maybe that's why I have a bit more of a soft spot for those types of floor plans than, um, than more modern things. Uh, but I don't know who's to say, I, I see so like really super cool, ultra high modern builds 
a lot, you know, from other builders. And I, I, not that many people, I don't think, live in, like, super high or ultra high modern houses, though. So uh, maybe a preference related to the fact that that's, you know, what I was more familiar with. Or maybe it's just my preference for for no particular reason other than it's just my preference I guess um but it's you know the interior I tried to keep it you know somewhat luxurious to match the fact that it's very heavily landscaped and um you know very I don't <laughs> I almost wanted to say the word posh, but I don't feel like I can as an American. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry, by the way, if the commentary is a little bit like lower energy than normally. Um, I It's late at night right now, and I don't know. <laughs> I've actually been seeing comments, and well, lately I've seen a couple comments where uh, people have said that they find my voice relaxing or my videos relaxing and um, I got that comment like a few times early on when I started the channel and I find that like it just it's it tickles me um, <laughs> not in a bad way like I'm not saying it's it's a bad thing at all or I'm like I'm totally here for it it doesn't like bother me or anything like that um, so it's just it just it's just funny to me that it's I don't imagine that my voice is I mean I, who who does though necessarily go oh I have a really relaxing voice um it's just one of those things when people point out something about you that you didn't necessarily know about yourself or just had never realized like oh okay that's that's interesting <laughs> I didn't know now I do um so yeah maybe maybe it's a good thing that I'm it's a I'm a little bit um, more subdued if, if you, uh, find the commentary relaxing or if you enjoy it for, uh, being relaxing. I don't know, <laughs> but either way, um, that's interesting to me. So <laughs> back to the build instead of the, the rambling, um, which is, I mean, you know, as much as it's, it's, it's become, um, standard for me to ramble, at least in some points of the uh, commentary, especially with speed builds. Anywho, um, I built this sort of, uh, like entertainment center type thing. I, um, added these shelving, like the shelving in. And right now I'm just like adding some, adding some adding. What is that? I don't know. Um, uh, adding in some clutter and I use these shelves, um, and it's, it's kind of dark on my screen, so I'm having trouble discerning. I, I For some reason, my recording software, it, like, it makes the video a little bit darker. So, but anywho, I don't know why that, that's relevant, but I pulled those shelves out a little bit to make sure that hopefully um, that won't catch on fire with the shelves being kind of uh, mushed up against the uh, fireplace, but... Um, it, it hadn't happened so far in any of my playtesting. And this is the first bathroom, the first floor bathroom. And, uh, you know, if you watch a lot of my speed builds, you know I'm 100% in favor of a bathroom right towards the front of the house. Uh, because, you know, Sims might come home from work having to uh, quickly go to the toilet. Or maybe they are stinky when they get home. Uh, maybe they went out for a jog and, and, you know, they don't want to walk past all the rest of the Sims in the house being all smelly. Um, so I like a first floor bathroom uh, w near the door, uh, as close to the door as possible. So that way your Sims can take care of their needs quickly as soon as they walk in the door. Um, I always try to work that in if, I, if possible because uh, I just uh, think it's really handy for Simming adding some like a little bit of plants there at the front and now we are in the kitchen um which it starts off yellow at first but i i change it to a white here in just a moment um it's a really big kitchen kind of reminiscent of my victorian dream uh that house uh the layout of the kitchen is really similar 
but um, it fewer cabinets. I really went crazy with the cabinets on that that build, and I I mean I wanted it to be uh, like I wanted there to be a lot of cabinetry in that build, so I, like I was okay with it. But I didn't want this to be as much. But they are tall walls, and I don't like I try to avoid having too much empty space um so I do have like like double height worth of like I stack the um cabinetry like on top of each other so that there's not too much space between the cabinetry and the ceiling a little section there for the microwave so like the sink area and the cooking area are separate and then we'll be adding in a counter island in just a moment um, and it seems like, it seems like longer to me than it, like, I, I, I used some items from the bowling stuff pack, and it feels like I built this longer ago than, um, <laughs> when the bowling stuff pack came out, like, but I guess not, because I do have bowling stuff in here, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that part either, but I did. Uh, yeah, so this is the little counter island here that I'm building. And I didn't uh, put in a dining table in the kitchen because they do have a separate dining room. But if your Sims want to dine in the kitchen, I do have some bar stools added to the island. Um, which I think, you know, if your Sims are entertaining, like if they have company, then they would probably want to use the dining room, but just for casual, uh, everyday meals, they would probably, you know, if this is reality, <laughs> they would probably eat in the kitchen the majority of the time. Use those pendant lights that I'm absolutely in love with from the bowling stuff pack and just adding in a little bit more decor here with these. I never use this, uh, item with the like rack of wine bottles I guess it's supposed to be or just bottles of some kind and then adding in a wall clock which is another item um, I don't use wall clocks very often so it's a nice piece of decor that I don't utilize often enough one thing uh, that I really regret uh, about this build is um, the indoor outdoor porch area somehow the footage of my building that um, either disappeared or I had started building and forgotten to start the recording again because sometimes I will have to get up to like maybe get something to drink or you know maybe sometimes like my boyfriend will ask me a question or something that I need to stop building and I will stop the recording because, you know, otherwise there would be like long pauses in the video where nothing is happening or I have to edit that out later. And so I maybe had just forgotten to restart the recording or something happened to that part of the file. I'm not sure, but I am, I, of course I have it in the screenshots later so that you'll be able to see it, but I really would have liked to have included that in the video so I am sorry that that didn't make it in I think there's like a little bit of me yeah there is definitely like a little bit of it but not the full build of it because when I was building uh, sometimes when I'm you know doing a build I'll tell myself a story about the sims that live in the house and I did picture the sims at least the parent sims that live in this house is being kind of like one of them is maybe like a composer and maybe one of them's like into like an artist and the artist uses that area um or like for gardening and for painting and and stuff um like as a little casual area and maybe i don't know i kind of had this this narrative that like, it was, the mother was, like, a vampire hunter because, like, there is a, um, that stand with, like, the garlic recipe from the vampires pack and a couple of planters. Like, maybe they would grow garlic in that room and research vampires or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that was just kind of what I was telling myself as I was doing the build. 
Now this room that I'm working on is the room that I was referring to earlier when I said I've been wanting to include this type of a room in a build at some point. I've um, been thinking about, or I had been thinking about it for quite some time, that it would be nice to have a room that was like, just like a learning room. So this is like, sort of like a homework room or just, um, you know, sort of an enrichment room for the kids in the house. So I put, use that wall clock um, that has a focusing aura and you'll see, I mean, there's some play, play objects and some toys and things, but also I put in the um, science lab, like the experimentation thing here and the violin, there's the little lab. Oh, and I put a, um, a fire alarm there because that I've had so many child sims catch the house on fire with that, that lab. But yeah, this is sort of just like a room where they could go do homework and experiment or draw or play the violin. So it's just sort of a place for them to go and work on their skills and childhood aspirations. So they have like a whole separate area for that. And again, that's just, I think that's really handy if you're running a legacy because I know um, it can be really hard when you have a big family of Sims getting their schedules um, in a place where you can take them all and leave the lot and go do other things. So I try to put as many skill items as possible on the lot because, you know, if you've got like the parents with different, like separate work schedules and, you know, time just goes by so quickly in the Sims, like you get the kid home and you get their, their homework done. And by the time they've taken care of their needs and done their homework, um, it's usually like, you know, late at night. So, you know, it's, it's hard with a big family of Sims. If you are really focused on time management, um, to, find the time to take your sims off the lot for other skill building. So I just tried to make sure that I put as much of that in there as possible. This is, um, the backyard. I'll just, it's just a little bit of the backyard there. And, um, the other, I'll go back to that later. I, I just moved outside for some reason during that. Um, this is the master bathroom that I'm building. One of the three bathrooms in the house and this was l inspired by my personal idea of my dream bathroom because I have, my dream bathroom has like a massively huge bathtub um, when, I, when I imagine my dream bathroom. So I had thought about putting the hot tub outside, but then I decided to actually just put it in the master bathroom where the parents... Um, like right off the parents' room. So this isn't a room that, you know, visiting Sims could necessarily get into easily. You would have to go through the parents' bedroom to get into this bathroom. But I, one thing that I don't show in the video, but it is in the final build, is I also added in a television um, by the hot tub so your Sims can sit in the hot tub and watch TV which is like my dream. <laughs> really is. I would, uh, hashtag goals, seriously. So the parents in this household, they're pretty spoiled um, in terms of at least very much so with their massive master bathroom. And it was, I had gotten in there. I really hadn't realized quite how large I'd, I'd made this room. I really, I wanted a really big bathroom like just a really luxury bathroom. Um, but it's still, it's still quite spacious even, uh, once it's complete. So yeah, this is the, the child room. Um, so there are five bedrooms, a toddler room, a child's room, a teen room, and the, of course the parents, the master bedroom. And then there's sort of just like more of a basic, uh, kind of guest room, which I guess you could use as a teen room for a boy. Um, so it's, you know, the teen room that you will see in this video is probably a little bit more on the feminine side, but if you had a teen boy as well as a teen girl, um, he could easily stay in the room that's, 
um, sort of more of a bit of a guest room. I kind of, I took that, uh, painting of the tragic clown and like kind of hit it behind the desk a little bit. Like, um, maybe it was a painting that the, the parents, uh, hung up or something and the kid was creeped out by it. So he kind of hit it back there behind his desk and behind the bookshelf. That's how I saw that. I'm not sure now why I put that um, article, that framed article over the, um, that poster, but it, it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I'm not going to go back and change it. It's like, sometimes I will build something and like, it makes sense to me at the time. And then I go back and I look at it again and I'm not sure why I did it, but I don't change it in those cases. I just roll with it because I don't know. It seemed like a good idea at the time is the reason everybody does everything, I think. And then there's that bathroom you can see over in the corner. I also didn't have the footage for that. I probably would have cut it out anyway. Um, but there is a bit of an interesting uh, floor pattern in that bathroom. Just because you get sick sometimes at, with the options that we have in the game for textures. So especially with flooring, I will kind of try and get a little bit creative with it and do different patterns. But I also do, um, you know, some floor pattern things in the teen girls room and in the pool. And so that other bathroom that you don't see, but there will be a screenshot of, um, it's another room that I did a bit of a floor pattern in. I also had to cut out the guest room for time. Uh, it's still like, this is a 39 minute build video and I didn't want to split it up into two parts cause I just didn't really feel like if I, if I split something up into two parts, I would like it to be like maybe something a little bit different than usual, like it sort of like a different like project or type of build than just, you know, house. Um, but I can't, it's, it's, it's a trade-off because I'd like to be able to include all of the building footage without having to edit any down. But like I said before, I just get in this zone when I start building and lose track of what time it is or how long I've been spending on the build. And I would rather have something that I spent the time um, detailing than something that condenses well into like a, you know, a 20 minute video. So I think that's, it's ultimately better, um, to spend the time trying to come up with something creative and different than, you know, putting out something that I, I just didn't spend as much time on so that it could be a shorter video. If that makes any sense, I hope I'm, I'm making that clear enough. By the way, these little uh, bear chairs are maybe one of my favorite items in the game, if not a favorite. I just think they're the cutest things. I love them. I want I want to replace uh, my couch with a big bear chair, and it would make me so happy. <laughs> not really take everything that I say with a grain of salt all the time, um, but it seemed, you know, just just in the moment, it sounded like a good idea. <laughs> Anyway, um, I put like some different items on the shelves and things in the toddler room. One of them was the like sort of um, cosmetic looking items from the vintage glamour stuff pack. And I thought maybe they kind of looked like like maybe they could be like sort of diaper rash ointment or something like that you would see in a toddler room. Uh, Use that uh, wallpaper from I think that wallpaper and the wallpaper I'm doing in this room came out with toddlers, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one I spent quite a few, quite a while trying to figure out what uh, wall texture I wanted to do. And ultimately this room, I think of it as being like the watermelon room because the color scheme, that is the, that's the wallpaper that I pick. And with these curtains from the movie hangout stuff pack, I think it, those are like watermelon colors. So I, I think of this as being the watermelon room and also the room that would be suited more suited toward like a teen girl. But I guess, I mean, it could be teen boy. I mean, 
um, or just teen in general. I don't know, but it's not crazy feminine. It's a little bit feminine, but it's not super, super feminine. And then again, you know, I always question what, you know, like it's silly to think of like certain colors as being for like a boy and certain colors as being for a girl, you know, everybody should be able to enjoy every color. <laughs> if you're a guy and you want to wear pink, go for it. You probably look awesome in it. Uh, probably better than I look in pink anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, 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 I don't like to necessarily, you know, stick by that, that way of thinking that, you know, certain colors are feminine, certain colors are masculine. It's just kind of silly, but you know, it's still, I would still probably characterize this as being like for more for like a teen girl, even though, you know, uh, <laughs> it's kind of silly. So, but yeah, this is, um, I think, I think it turned out kind of cute with these curtains. And again, like I said before, did kind of a different floor pattern. I covered it with a rug and everything. Cause I didn't want it to be like blam in your face. Like there's a really, uh, you know, intense floor pattern. Uh, but I did, you know, just wanted to give it a little bit more character and, you know, something different. Um, I used that bookshelf from the get to work pack and I know it's a little bit, um, you know, serious looking severe, um, you know, uh, what's the word corporate looking, but it, it matched really well. And so did this little, uh, uh, lamp from the, gosh, I couldn't think of the word lamp. Uh, uh, <laughs> so did this lamp from the bowling stuff pack. So yeah, that, I think that that room is really cool. I, I like it. And then this room here is the sort of guest room slash possible teenage boys room. I don't think I have all of it. Oh, I put the lamp in the, um, side table. Like sometimes there are built-in like lamps, side table combination things, like especially in hotels or whatever. So I just kind of like just put it in the middle there. Like it was, you know, an all in one piece sort of thing. Yeah. And then of course, you know, just a desk with the computer and bookshelves. So I don't know. I guess I did put this whole room in here and decided not to cut it. What do you know? <laughs> not, I don't know anything apparently. Uh, this, uh, I, I like that little, um, conglomeration. That's not the right word at all, but, uh, grouping of pictures from, from what was that? That was from dine out. That's what that came with. And then this is the master bedroom. So while I picture one of the parents as being like, kind of like a vampire hunter, uh, type, uh, artist or, or something that would spend a lot of time in the, uh, downstairs, uh, indoor porch area. This room, I like the other parent, I imagine being like a composer that's like really a loner. And so they would spend a lot of time up in this room by themselves, like maybe like sort of a gloomy sim or something, uh, or, but creative and would spend a lot of time, uh, you know, composing and writing songs on the piano and up in this bedroom. And it's a, a very spacious master bedroom. Um, was trying to build kind of a, a surround thing. Um, but I guess I, I gave up on that idea. Uh, <laughs> I guess so, as evidenced by what's happening in the video, I changed my mind, <laughs> but yeah, this, this room, I, I really like it. Um, I like the big grand piano. I think it just makes a nice thing. Like, I don't know, adds something nice to this room. And, and of course, like I said, the, the big giant master bathroom is right off of this master bedroom. So these parents have that really awesome bathroom all to themselves, which is cool. You know, they can spend some time together in the hot tub and not be disturbed or, uh, <laughs> and the kids still have plenty of bathroom options to choose from with the other two bathrooms. So, 
yeah, I liked it. Put it in the vanity from the Vintage Glamour. That's such a good item. It took me some time to settle on a color scheme for this bedroom, but ultimately I went with uh, blue and brown because uh, I just feel like that's kind of a good neutral calming shade um, for a room, especially if there's a sim spending a lot of time in there. It's just nice. I, I like the yellow too though, so if you want something a little bit brighter, it would be easier to change it uh, out. But I went with blue. I like blue. Who doesn't like blue? Everybody likes blue. And that's another thing when it comes with, or when it comes to the exterior, it took me so long to settle on a color. I, I cut out a lot of me just testing different colors for the exterior. And so I wound up going with the sky blue for that, for the exterior, because it just, I've, you know, I feel like blue is less, to you, for lack of a better word, it's a little bit less divisive, you know, because um, the peach I felt was, you know, it could be a little bit too precious for some people. And I also tried out a red, which kind of gave it a little bit more of a barn feel. And I don't know, I just feel like blue is a nice, safe choice um, that you know, it's just unlikely that anybody's going to be like, oh, blue, that's disgusting. I hate blue. <laughs> you know, blue's a good color. It's, you know, it's calming. It's reminds you of the water and the ocean and all that lovely stuff that is good, in my opinion. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're working on the backyard now, clearly. Uh, there's quite a bit of, um, outdoor furniture. <laughs> Couldn't think of the, the, the words there for a minute. Um, yeah, outdoor furniture. So there are, you know, some sort of lounge chairs and, um, I put out a yoga mat, which you'll see here in just a few moments. I'm kind of just, t uh, you know, putting in some landscaping touches in, in. again, I didn't want to cut out every bit of the landscaping out of the video so that you could get some idea of what it was going to look like. Um, so there's just a little bit of that going on right now. And this is where I put in a, another floor pattern, um, into the, the pool, the bottom of the pool, which again, if you watch a lot of my builds, you'll know that I like to do interesting things in the bottom of the pool. Um, but I thought this, uh, this tile from the vampires pack, uh, looks really interesting whenever it's just in that quarter tile. Um, and then I put like a really bright sort of sea green color on the, uh, floor and on the walls. Usually I'll go for a blue, like a deep blue with pools, but, um, this time I went with more of like a sea green look. And here you can see all of a sudden there's like I, I faded into later in the video when I have a lot more of the landscaping done. So now here you can see um, what the landscaping looks like when it's mostly finished at this point, I think. And we're actually getting ready to come up on the end of the video. We've made it. Congratulations. I'm just going to put together this side porch here. And I threw in a couple of seating areas and a like a thing where they could pour themselves some lemonade or, or whatnot. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so that you can uh, be notified when I put out the next speed build video. And thank you guys so much for watching.